Hey Tim, hey everyone else, and welcome back to Four Running Shoes. I am uh, still injured, and I'm in the process of finding out exactly what the problem is. So I'm here at the uh, the radiology lab, and I'm going to have an X-ray and an ultrasound. So uh, I'm not sure if I probably won't film in there, but I'll have a chat with you afterwards, unless I do film in there, in which I'll have a chat over the top of it. Not sure. Alrighty, I'm back. Um, I obviously I, I forgot that of course I can't use my phone in there because of the radiation or something like that. Um, so I've got had my ultrasound. So they they had a look at both, took some photos of both ankles. Um, I was on the table there for probably ten or fifteen minutes. She had a good look and um, had a few photos taken uh, with the X-ray as well. So we'll uh, get those results early next week. So it's Friday now. I'll make my appointment for. Tuesday, I think. Uh, they, they said they should be ready by Tuesday, and I'll discuss them with my GP. So, um, leave it for a couple of days, and uh, we'll chat you with you then. It's been a few days. I am off to the doctor, and we'll uh, see what the results show. All right, so what did I learn? from this experience. Well, um, actually in going into the doctors, I was noticing that my ankle is starting to feel quite a bit better. And I'll explain why in just a moment, but uh, the results from the X-ray and ultrasound. So the X-ray showed no fractures, no breaks, no dislocations. Everything was where it should be. Nothing unusual there, which is great. The ultrasound um, showed no structural damage. So my tendons and ligaments were all in the right places. Uh, there was, however, a bit of fluid around one of the joints, so the, the joint near my ankle, and that's likely to be having caused some pain. And so my doctor walked me through exactly what having fluid means. So fluid, uh, it's a normal response. Having excess generally is a sign of overworking. So even though I was adding kilometers slowly to my running weeks back when I was running a little while ago, it must have been too much. And so my body to heal itself has put it put out some more fluid that is generally absorbed by the tissue around it but the ankle and the foot there's not a lot of that kind of soft tissue to be able to do that compared to other joints or other muscles around in the body so the, then when you walk continue to walk on it you're not absorbing you're putting out more fluid and it's it's not going anywhere so it's not getting any better not super damaging but painful so um over the last week I have been doing very little walking. I've kind of had one walk a day, maybe I'll walk a kilometer or two, pretty casual. So I haven't been doing my hour long walks or anything like that, kind of 15, 20 minute walks, very gentle. It, not even that really. So that's been helpful. I've been doing yoga every day. My wife and I have been um, doing one of Yoga with Adrian's 30 day yoga challenges, which has been good. That's been, I'm really enjoying doing that and feeling my body feels stronger and more flexible. But my, I know that my cardiovascular fitness is going to really be struggling going back into running whenever that happens. So my foot is actually starting to feel better now that I'm properly resting it. And due to the changing conditions of the lockdown, it's looking like other exercises are going to become available to me, namely kayaking. So I might be trying to get a few kayaking sessions in, in during the week just to, to get a cardio session in that's not on my foot. Tim, I really enjoyed your video on Thursday, racing camp on the kick bike. I uh, just what a, what a lot of fun. Um, it looks like a lot. I almost want to try a kick bike myself now. That looks good. Um, <laughs> sorry to hear you didn't make your uh, mileage goal, but hopefully this week you hit that 40 kilometers. And um, hopefully next week I've got some more exciting news. But today we've learned that no permanent damage. It's pretty safe to run, but I don't want to run it with any pain. So I'll give it another few days. I'll reassess and we might be able to get back into running. It's gonna be a, a, a low mileage week. I think we're just really building back up from not much. So we'll just see how we go. Maybe get some kayaking sessions in there. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please make sure you're subscribed to Four Running Shoes so as to not miss any future updates. Watch out for Tim's video on Thursday and I will see you next week.